Spider Hunter from ehpfitness.com. He knows a bit about fitness. Yes, he certainly does. ehpfitness.com. Spider Hunter on Twitter. S P I D A Hunter. One word. Good day, there, Spider. You well, my man? I am good. I'm good, and you're certainly uh, perhaps less rattled than last week. Um, after only a week after the the earthquake, two weeks on, you're feeling much better. Oh, feeling fantastic, thank you, Wemo. We're uh, we had a couple of little shakes this morning and last night. Uh, it's more inconvenience of uh, leave me alone in my sleep, will you? <laughs> yeah, it's just the huge, just it's just the, the earth, Mother Earth rocking you to sleep. That's what it is. <laughs> That's it, mate. Just yeah. like as if I was a baby in a womb. <laughs> <laughs> so I just go into fetal position and then I just you know feel the vibrations. <laughs> hey Spider, today's today's topic kind of puzzles me because it is um, weight loss just ain't cool. Now, um, going by sort of our previous conversations where we've talked about how to do weight loss and whatnot, is that all now stink? And we're now onto our new mantra. What's going on? No, it is a bit of a. Uh, I mean, I've always believed you know weight loss just ain't cool. It's just terminology. So when people come to me and they say oh, I want to lose weight, the question that I generally will ask them is: uh, Is it weight that you want to lose or fat? Because sometimes the two don't go hand in hand. True. Okay. Yeah, I can so see that. As an example, someone could. Um, a lot of females that I train will drop a little bit of weight, um, but not as much as they think. And then it uh, could only be, you know, two, three kgs, but their body composition or their body shape changes. Right. Okay. So, there, so added, it's important to make that distinction between the two. Absolutely. So when people come to me and say, oh, I'll lose weight, um, you know, that, that often means, um, you know, starvation. And it also means that you have no respect for muscle versus fat composition of the body. Mm. It just means strip away weight, you know. Like if you drop 10 kgs but you're still carrying the same body fat, then you still at some level look and feel the same with regards to, you know, uh, fat around the stomach, fat in the arms. Um, So it's actually, from my experience, most people want to change uh, fat ratio as opposed to weight, Mm. although that's what they perceive at the time as weight is the issue. So so in that case, I mean, how, how do you measure fat versus weight? Mate, we have a thing called calipers. We uh, squeeze um, squeeze some fat, and then you pinch the skin, and then you clip on something that will tell you how many millimeters of fat someone has. We also use I use a tape measure um, just to to measure the waist circumference, hips and chest and arms and bum as well. So you do what well, you can do what's called a skin fold analysis, and that's where you take about. It depends on which uh, protocol you follow, but you take a minimum four sites. Yeah. Um, and, you know, around the waist, you're going to measure around the waist. So you grab a big chunk of fat around the waist, put the calipers on it. It's like a pinching thing. And then um, and then from there, you, it, tells, it gives you a reading. And then in four weeks' time, three weeks' time, you redo it. Okay. Um, and do, do people by and large understand this? You know, because it's, it's so easy just to step onto some scales, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, and that's, I think, uh, a lot of it is misconception around, you know, oh, I'm going to go lose weight. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, you might, you know, need to lose some kgs, and that will happen if if that's that, that's your desired goal. It depends, you know, like for some people, whoops, for some people, uh, most of the time when I'm discussing it with people, for them it's actually shifting things around in their body so they're having less fat around their hips, mm. less fat around their chest, less around their bum as opposed to scale weight. Yeah. So from um, 75 kgs to 70, the person can look exactly the same, still have the same fat, you know, muffin top. It's really weird for people to get their head around that. It's just the fact that that, what, that fat's being turned into muscle. Well, if 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 you haven't done any resistance work, then you you more than likely have lost uh, muscle, uh. and muscle is what tones the body or holds the body in place, which gives it firmness, which gives it you know the visual appeal to the eye as well. So, you know, if you strip away muscle, then you're stripping away the you know all the things that give you visual appeal, like I said, 
and also hold things in place. Yeah. Um, and that's what people do when they just go on diets alone or without any form of exercise or resistance program. They end up um, skinny fat. Yeah. Skinny does fat. That make sense, it does skinny make sense. It does make sense. Now it also makes sense that weight loss just ain't cool. <laughs> ain't cool, brother. Just ain't cool. Thanks, Spider. If people want to um, discuss that further with you, they can at ehpfitness.com. Also on Twitter as well, twitter.com forward slash Spider Hunter, S P I D A Hunter, one word. And we'll see you next week. Choice, brother. Thank you. A track now from Sasha V. This here.